Hi guys, Rich4150 uh, posted a video a couple of days ago about uh, practicing his movie draw in which he picks up his uh, gun. And as he presents it, you hear the sound of the slide being racked, even though his hands are nowhere near the slide. Um, it's just one of those stupid things that you see in movies and on TV. And uh, it reminded me of several really dumb things I've seen on TV involving guns lately. Uh, for the longest time, there was a promo for the show Justified, uh, which I believe is on A&E, one of those cable networks, uh, in which the star of the show is holding two Glocks. I only have one here, so he's holding two Glocks at arm's length, pointing them at the bad guys. Obviously, he has no spare hands to manipulate the gun in any way. And you hear, as he is holding two Glocks in full view of the camera, you hear snick snick as in the sound of the hammer of a revolver being cocked back. Uh, with no obvious motion of his hands of any kind and most of you will know Glocks don't have a hammer. There is nothing on here. There's no external safety. There is nothing that you could do to make a click sound with the Glock, regardless how many hands you're using, never mind holding two of them out at arm's length. It was just like a glaring mistake that just really stood out. Um, crime shows, <clears throat> which are attempting to explain gun-related incidents, are some of the worst. I was watching an episode of, uh, I can't remember the name of the show right offhand, uh, and the show, it was a cr true crime show, and they were explaining how some people got drunk, were playing with the gun uh, in a hotel room, accidentally fired a shot through the wall, and killed a guest in the next room. And they had a really elaborate graphics, computer graphics animation of how this happened, of how the bullet went through the wall. Uh, they had two animations. And this was, I believe this was like a 38 caliber revolver. It was not, which makes it extra stupid what I'm about to tell you. Um, the first animation showed a large caliber boat-tailed rifle bullet going through the wall. Nothing like a handgun bullet in any way. Uh, it really stood out. The second animation showed, let me grab one here. The second animation showed the entire shell casing along with the projectile flying through the wall. Really? The entire cartridge flying through the wall. And as most of you know, I, I work in television and I know how things can get past, but uh, big productions are supposed to have people that check this stuff out and if if they don't know what they're doing it's not real hard to make a phone call call somebody and say hey is this right it, it's just ridiculous so that the crap that you see on 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 television it's basically what i'm saying is don't believe anything you see on tv or movies when it comes to handguns they just don't know what they're talking about and sometimes it can get people killed as in the case of uh, brandon lee in the movie the crow Apparently they were trying to save money by not having an armorer on the set, which is uh, against all the rules, but uh, trying to save a few bucks not having an armorer on the set and having live ammo on the set, which is another no-no, and a long string of events caused uh, a fatal accident, as we all know. Uh, another one, which I do remember the show, was the first 48. Um, there was a uh, cop who who was called to a crime scene, a homicide detective. There is a dead body. There is a handgun underneath the body. They turn the body over. They go, oh, there's a gun here. And the cop picks up the gun. I'll use this for demonstration. And he's pulling and tugging and tugging on the gun, trying to rack the slide to reject the cartridge. He's just yanking and pulling on it. And he goes, this gun is jammed. Obviously, this guy didn't stand a chance. His gun was jammed. Well, a few minutes later, without any explanation, they showed a close-up of the gun sitting on the hood of the car with the action open. 
And it was either a Beretta Tomcat or a Beretta Bobcat. Little 25 and or 32 um, handgun that's a brake top. The slide does not move. The barrel tips. You can pull on it all day long, you're not going to open it. It just goes to show you that people that you think know about guns don't know about guns. Uh, just really dumb stuff. All right, guys, uh, not much of a point to this video other than to just uh, bitch about things that I've seen on TV lately. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.